Because this is where we're sitting. <laughs> He's gonna shove it off. Like a typical cat. Alright. Off. Get off of me. Really? We have to rub it against my water bottle? Uh, oh, I should probably set this up too. Please don't. I need that paper. You're not getting in there. <sighs> No. Stop that. I need you clawing up my walls. Sure. You too? <laughs> it's fine. Well, I'll leave a... him alone. Okay. All right. Switching to main. Willow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cool. Close up of Willow. This is some sort of ceremonial altar. So you get smacked, that's on you. Yep. Let's move over. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Ah! be the other bench. Yep, there it is. Okay. Piece of papyrus. From what I am... Okay. There's 14 of these. Going? Very quietly. You hear it? Oh, I think it was just, I was. Guys! Willow! Check on him. No, I got it to stop.
No idea. Don't? I have not yet. I was just checking to see if I could see any that are blatantly obvious. Alright. <clears throat> One, two... This is the top, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen? One. Yep, I'm missing one. Crawling around on the ground. Like a cat? Check. Check on them. Check. I got most of them. I don't see any more. There you are, you little shit. That's all. Okay. Do these... Oh. Yes, they do. Gosh dang it. Willow! What? It's done with her. Yeah, but it, it's like, it's, I haven't gotten the many of the shots or anything. Should we be scratching her? I don't think we really have to worry about that. She'll learn pretty damn quickly. Well, she's also dumb. It's very quiet. Too quiet. Okay, that worked. Oh boy. Here we see him. Hi guys.
Hello, come on, Kiki, Kiki. Come, Willow. Willow. Willow, come. Using the charcoal and papyrus, I sketch out a map based on the design I assembled on the altar. I put an X where I'm pretty sure I came in. Okay. Save. Beer be, I'm gonna go check on them. He comes. Come on. Come on, bring your buddy. Willow! Up his butt. Pull it out. I cannot deal. I'm not gonna be able to deal with that. Want me to put it down? Put it no, in. no. I just if this goes on forever, like I can't. Like I'm not gonna be able to deal with that. Willow and Jake. Okay. It's the same thing. They just gotta get used to each other. But Sometimes you gotta smell his butt. <laughs> how many times can she get a full full scent? She's totally confused right now because all she's used to is dogs. Yeah, that's true. This is a cat, and the cat is reacting in ways she's not used to. So she's very curious. She's not sitting there growling. No. And he, like I was over in the other room, he literally was walking up to her and rubbing his face on her face, and she's like, what? Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. <sighs> this is a maze. Oh boy. Turn right. Follow passage to the end. Turn left. Passage to the end. Turn left. Order a few steps to the end of the passage. Left. Forward. And look at the dead man. Unless I miss my guess, this is Oliver Edson. Looks like he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. Is that a gun? There's a gun. These frames aren't much good. The lenses might be useful. I'll come up. Where are you petting? You're petting them, okay. Looks like some dirt got jammed in the barrel. It's pretty much useless in this condition. Get her out of there. Willow! Get out. Oh, go. <sighs> okay, 
save your game here. Got it. Save. Turn around. How's he? Follow back to the first intersection. Right at this intersection. Or a few steps and take white dagger. Oh, ah, got it. You have a lot of weapons. Well, the gun is gone. It was useless. Oh. We just got bullets from it. I think she would get bored. Yeah, seriously. Jake, unfortunately, is a little on edge, too, though. Section, okay. Right and follow passage to the end. Right. Look forward to the first intersection. Okay. Turn right, follow passage to the end. That's it, okay. They meant the literal end. Save the game here. Save! 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 save Turn game. around and follow back to the first intersection you, you reach. Every five seconds. Better than having to do this all over again, I suppose. That's true. First intersection. The board. Turn right and follow it to the end. Again, follow passage along it. to the first intersection. This is the intersection. I'll pass it along to the end. Okay. That doesn't seem right. Turn. Tell me. To... Aha, okay, here we are. Yeah, it was supposed to turn you, jackass. Take his shield. 
I'd guess the court is made of hemp. Burns real nice, or so I've been told. Save your game here. Okay. Again, every five seconds. All right. Turn around. All passage back the way you came at the first intersection. This is an intersection. Turn left. Follow passage along to the end. Okay. See the snake door. Ah, here we go. Exit completely, so I'm assuming this is the sun door. Guess what? Safe game? Yep. Follow passage along to the intersection. <clears throat> Intersection, got it. Turn right and follow passage to the next intersection. Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. All right, next intersection. Wait, I don't think that's the intersection. Yeah, it is. The other way. Well. And I'm walking through, and there's it's an intersection. It's a T intersection. What's considered? I turn right, walk a few steps, and take blunt hatchet. So if I turn right... Ah! Bingo. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> some kind of Grab it. Save your game here. Them. I'm, we're okay. I'm gonna invest in my game to see what they're doing. Do they do? I mean, we're not hearing anything. Grab him and come on. Yes. 
I did not work today, luckily. I work tomorrow. I get set. I get Sunday, Monday off now. It was all right. A little busy. It was all right. It was Monday. <laughs> yes, Ozzy. Bolo is losing her ever-loving mind. All right. Turn around. Follow passage back to the first intersection. Oh, you're going to stay with me for the moment. All right. Intersection. Uh-huh. Turn right and follow passage to the end. Silver dagger. Oh, now Jake's up sniffing. <laughs> Turn around and no, follow. You're gonna stay pass with it me. back to the intersection. Follow all the way to the end. <laughs> Up the stairs and enter the bird chamber. Pictures on the wall show some kind of musical celebration. In one section, two Mayans are blowing horns with two gemstones between them. Could mean that the gemstones on the altar can make sounds and that Here, pairs right. of them have the same tone. Very quiet. Thirteen gemstones attach to the top of this altar. The stones are slightly chipped and cracked as though they've been struck with something repeatedly. Maybe this is some sort of Mayan xylophone. Well, that won't work. Okay. Oh, wait, no, hold on. He was trying to get it. <laughs> With this thing on screen? Ozzy's trying to help me. He was trying to chase the cursor. Now exit the chamber with the star symbol above it. So I assume that would be this, yeah, this one. Good boy, Jake. Okay. Good boy. Save your game here. Good boy. Wish you would lay down and stop losing your ever-loving mind. Pull it down. Just some more. Follow passage to the end. No. Oh, Same with me. All the twists and turns at the very end. Okay. Well, there better be something here. Yes, the gold dagger. Get. 
Turn around, follow passage back to the first intersection. <laughs> In space! This isn't it. Nope, this is not an intersection. It says. Okay. And right fall passage along to the door. Enter the wasp chamber. There we go. Whew. Sounds like an army of wasps in here somewhere. The buzzing seems to be coming from that stone head on the wall. Uh, a couple of those buggers are coming out of the mouth, and if a few of them sting me, I'll swell up like an elephant and be dead in 30 seconds. I either have to destroy that nest or get out of here. Yay! Yay for wasps! What do you got? She's got her toy. His toy. That is not for you, ma'am. But I want it. <laughs> Don't you know I get whatever I want? Nope, that's not yours. That does smell like the cat. What the one that smells like the cat? God damn it. Okay, okay. No, sir. No. Oh, Jake. Wanna come in or out? Wait. Ah. Here. Willow! Ozzy! Stop. Oh, shit. Great. Ignoring imminent danger, I stay in the chamber too long and the wasps begin to attack. My allergy kicks in and within minutes, saved. I look like... Fuck, where am I? Sorry. I don't deal with stupid shit like that, but. <clears throat> Willow! Hi, I want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Really should think about it. Hey. I'm over this. You two, go. Go. You gonna put him back in his thing? No, I'm gonna... Go. Go. Oh, kick them out? Turn around and follow the passage back to the first intersection. For the moment. Oh, is he still in here, though? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I just kicked him out there <laughs> with him. Okay. Turn right, follow passage to the door. Okay. This is the wasp door. Okay. So 
now we will save here. Probably scoot in. All right. That is not the wasp door. Fuck. Shit. <sighs> Read, count my steps. All the way over here. Turn around. All passage back to the first intersection. about here's the wasp door okay i made a slight detour that's all all right sir sir no no Okay. Now I deal with the wasps. Sounds like an army of wasps in here somewhere. Body. The buzzing seems to be coming from that stone head on the wall. Uh, a couple of those buggers are coming out of the mouth, and if a few of them sting me, I'll swell up like an elephant and be dead in 30 seconds. I either have to destroy that nest or get out of here. Looks like a stone carving of a wasp head. I'm pretty sure the wasp that stung me at scout camp was at least this big. And he swallowed up like a balloon. And unless I'm hearing things, it sounds like there's an army of those buggers getting ready to swarm. No, Ozzy! Thing with cords down there. Gone now. Okay. Now there's nothing on that stone head but a big pile of wasp crispies. <laughs> Say we give him a couple minutes and then we put him away. Yeah, because then the dogs like the dogs can come and be normal. Lay down. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom too anyway. Me too. There are nine empty squares on top of this altar.
<laughs> what is he doing? As he's being naughty. Go to the bathroom? But they do, that's why we, that's why I asked if we wanted to come on with a cover. What? You should've just put him up. He's still cleaning. We'll be right back.
Okay. All right. These tiles look like they can be okay, we're the back. on the altar. All right, so I got all the tiles. Drawings in this chamber show people worshiping three Mayan kings. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> Oh, now Jake's gonna play. Of course. <laughs> He's going to entertain you with his Santa toy. <sighs> Exit the chamber with the moon symbol above it. What? Exit the chamber with the moon symbol above it. That would be this. Save your game here! Always saving. Walk forward to the intersection. I don't blame them though, because. There's a lot of shit that can go wrong in here. Yeah. This would be a lot to do. Oh, hold on. I forgot about that too. Because we died to. If you wasps. gotta be dumb, you gotta be dumb. This would be a lot to do. When you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. Okay. I went through the wrong door. Because you said a moon, right? There's a sun sim. It's a sun, okay. There's a. That's a moon. What the hell is this? There's a black sun. Black sun. Okay. Sure. Sure. Why not? Ah. Save your game here. At least that was simple. All right. Turn the intersection, turn right. Follow passage to the twist and turns. You reach the intersection, go straight ahead to the end of the passage, okay. Red dagger. No. Okay. Turn around. No. Follow passage back to intersection. Turn left. No. Look at door and enter dagger chamber. Like a dagger, not unlike the kind I'm carrying. Okay. Do not chew the arm off of that.
Salder has five slots carved into the stone top. Looks like something needs to be inserted into the slots. I do have five, okay. That was right. Da, da, da. Exit chamber through a door with the black sun above it. Black sun. Save your game here. Follow passage through all the twists and turns and see you see the Pentagon door, then enter the Pentagon chamber. Wah! I step into the Pentagon chamber and take a look around. Suddenly, the floor tilts sharply, and I'm sliding into a dark tunnel. Hi, Regan. Well, have I kept you waiting long? Oh, no, I just got here. Regan, what the hell? Oh, oh, I, I guess I was supposed to be sitting back in my hotel room like a good little girl, right? Well, I'm sorry. It's just not in my nature to sit around and let someone else make my decisions for me. I mean, I wasn't going to let you and those two doddering old fools ruin everything I ever worked for. Here we are sitting on the greatest discovery in the history of the world, and they say get rid of it. Howdy. Get rid of it? Great idea. I mean, who cares how much it's worth? Who cares how great the technology is? Not just to us, but to everyone. Didn't you hear what Fitzpatrick and Whip were saying? We destroy ourselves with this. Well, maybe we are ready. I mean, why don't we give ourselves the benefit of the doubt? In the hands of someone like my father, this new technology, could, it could open doors we never even imagined. The problem is, these things don't end up in the hands of people like your father. They never do. <sighs> Maybe we should try to find a way out of here, huh? Yeah, save my game. Even though it doesn't tell me to, I am. These pedestals aren't set on the floor, but they seem to be sunken into the floor. The statue seems to be reaching toward the light from above. Seems to be about the only way out of here. So have you got any ideas? Not at the moment. I was just looking at those holes at the top of the chamber, but... Even if we could reach him, they're way too small for us to get through. Let's keep looking. Lay down, Willow. Too heavy for me to do by myself. I could use a little help here. 
Move aside, honey. I'll move it. Please, over here. Now! from the statue has a good-sized crack in it. If I could break this thing into two pieces, they'd be small enough so I could lift them. All right, crazy people logic now. Oh, crazy people logic. More like game logic. Deck knife with bullets. We have gunpowder. Got it. Fine. Gunpowder with small stone cup. Primitive explosive. Fine with lantern fuel. Primitive fuse. Primitive fuse with the primitive explosive. Matchbox with the primitive explosive and fuse. Zoom. Fuse. Boom. Big boom. Save your game here. Because yeah, that was a lot of combining and other shit. Okay. This... This. After you. Faster, girl! He has become Indiana Jones. Herda. Get your ass up there, Jesus! Jeez. Finally. Looks safe. Be like. 
Spaceship! Just like a, like a, like a huge Christmas present just waiting to be opened. I guess I should call Fitzpatrick, tell him we found it. Don't call him. Let's, let's just keep this between ourselves, just between you and me. That isn't how it works, Rick. But it can. Girl! We can have everything we ever wanted. I know people, we just have to tell them where the ship is, they'll give us everything we ever wanted. We can spend the rest of our lives together. That isn't uh, right, Regan. What have you got to go back to? I mean, look at your life. It's a dead end and you know it. You can play it safe, spend the rest of your life without being the ugly girl from the years of struggling and never taking a chance. How do you know about Chelsea? Nobody what does it matter? You can live in all of well, freedom, me. Look, my life may not seem like much to you, and my mutant girlfriend's not the most glamorous woman in the world, but I happen to feel a certain obligation to do what's right, and not just what serves my best interests. Take that, bitch! What a lovely little speech. Now be a good little private eye and hand me that communicator. Or would you prefer that I blast a hole in you and take it myself? Thank you. Well, I thought you'd be more surprised to see me. Oh, I figured the NSA would be around here. Guy from the NSA. I just wondered why Jackson I Cross. you first. <laughs> this isn't official business. No, no. It's a purely personal matter between Miss Madsen and myself. I offered you a piece of the action, Tex. You got no one to blame but yourself. So you and Itch. Cross have been working together since the beginning? <laughs> it's disillusioning, isn't it? <laughs> well, it might make you feel oh, better to know that uh, she's taken a liking to you. I mean, I wanted to do away with you right away. She convinced me that she could bring you over to our side. You look like you're a stronger man than I am. Well, I guess we're just not cut from the same. Cloth. I found out about Malloy and the NSA. Then I met Miss Madsen uh, when I was looking for her father. Can you imagine someone selling out her own father? I didn't sell him out. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> At first, we didn't have much luck tracking down Malloy's boxes, but then you came along. And I don't know whether it was luck or whether you're that good. But anyway, I decided to let you do the work. It was a good decision, don't you think? I mean, I mean, here we are at the appointed place and time. You're not going to get away with me, Cross. Oh, no? <laughs> I don't see anybody here who's going to stop me. <laughs> you know, when I first saw you, I wanted to blow your brains out. Not because I didn't like you. Forceful fellow. No, I wanted to kill you because I enjoy killing people. I God, this guy's all over the place. Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, I figured the way you played me for a sucker, you ought to be the one that pulls the trigger. You took good for your own good. Enough talk! Say goodbye. Wait! Don't shoot. Spare him, and I will lead you to that which you seek. It's a trick. All right, old man. I won't kill him. Not yet. Anyway. 
guy, that's the other guy, right? That's Gordon Fitzpatrick, the guy who hired me. Pretty much. Will be disclosed. Would you step off the beam, please? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Welcome in. This is an historical moment. We are standing in the midst of history. Those who arrived with the ship, if not our fathers. The fathers of our race were at least the guardians and guides of our ancestors. This is a holy place. Enough of this fan <laughs> What's in there? That is the generator chamber and the light you see. Thank you for the follow. The main power cell. <laughs> well, let's take a look at that, shall we? Your option. I like that sound. <laughs> Respect Nichols. I have to show you the show that's from. Probably won't like it that much, it's more of a stoner comedy. Longest cutscene in the world! Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Hold on. Let the two stupid people go in first. ship off the earth off this planet as soon as possible why explosives anti-hydrogen pods set to go off in a very few minutes we've got to get this ship as far as possible from the planet earth in that little time you know how to fly i know i know how do you know it even works? i know how to fly what my, my father a long time ago Listen to me now, follow me. This is important. My mother is an American woman in Nebraska. But my father's DNA is in me. I know how to fly this ship. Okay. Now, you must find the black sun symbol and press it. Boy. Find, find, find black sun. 
black sun button press it. Yeah. North. Circle. Red. North. Circle. Red. East. East. Cross. Poor Jake. Always get this bed stolen. Oh, no. <clears throat> what was it Fitzpatrick said? North Circle Red. Now what? You'll press that, then it's. North Circle Red. East, cross, orange, yeah, uh huh. South, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, triangle, yellow, and west, diamond, green. Got it. You shouldn't have taken your eyes off. Yeah? Well, where were you? <sighs> Murphy, if you'll open up, I'll be very nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. Good for trying to mess with stuff. All right. There you go. Okay. Well, shit. that is i heard something or uh i'm not sure if it's the actual i don't remember it was something on their website i've been playing through all of them so far this is how far we've got the only one we skipped was mean streets because that is just such a slog plus when you play overseer it kind of covers what mean streets has <laughs> anyway all right Not long after, Elijah Witch shows up. As we fly home, I fill him in on what happened. He's kind enough to write me a check to cover my expenses, and then some. As soon as I'm alone in my office, my thoughts turn to Chelsea. Regan had been the ultimate temptation, but it's only made me more sure about my feelings for Chelsea. I give her a call, and we make a date for a long overdue dinner in her apartment. Yay! So the spacecraft gets higher and higher, and it finally disappears. And then about five seconds later, BAM! There is this huge explosion. And I guess there's just little pieces of Jackson Cross and Regan scattered all over the Andes Mountains. <laughs> that is quite a story. I mean, what does that make it? Four, five times now you've saved the world. Don't you ever get tired of doing the same old thing? Do I detect a little note of skepticism here? You don't think I make these things up, do you? Oh, who, me? Of course not, sweetie. It's just that, well, I, you know, no one has ever actually seen you saving the world. You know, and you know how people are? Seeing is believing. Okay, that does it. I'm retiring. This is a dirty job. I am underpaid. And when I get through cleaning up other people's problems, I get tossed aside like a loaded huggy. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. 
Besides, Mr. Detective, I love you just exactly the way you are. Warts and all. How did you know about my wart? Mm -hmm. Lucky guess. <laughs> are you all finished with dinner? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty well done with that. Uh, what do you call that, anyway? Lasagna. Hmm. I'll tell you, that's not what my dad would call it. <laughs> okay, so if you're all done, I have a surprise for you, and I want you to stay right there, and I'm going to be right back after I change. So maybe it's not a perfect world, but right now it's pretty damn close. Maybe no one will ever believe what happened to me, but I'll get over that. Because I'm caught up on my rent, and I still got some cash left over. On top of that, I just had dinner with the girl of my dreams, and now it's time for dessert. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Cover your eyes. Ice bowl, ice bowl. <laughs> okay, you can open them. Yes. You know, I've got a coat just like that. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> when I yep. was in Phoenix, I learned to square dance, and it is so much fun. And I know how you love to dance. Hey, Shroom. It's just that I was kind of expecting something different. Hey, Shroom. Oh, I know what you had in mind. And apparently, no one's taught Surprise. you the truth of Dosi Do. -Si -Do. <laughs> I want to learn. Yeehaw. Oh, I was close. Oh. 1493 out of a possible 1500. Congratulations, you've completed your trip down Mission Street. By choosing the high road and being kind, thoughtful, and doing the right thing, you've helped save the world and won Chelsea's heart. But there are two other paths for you to follow through the story, both of which contain new scenes and conversations. If you'd like to follow Lombard Street, you have to stay neutral, not committing to anyone or anything. This path is typical text, not really a leading man, but not dark and cynical either. Lombard Street leads to two possible endings. To find the Boulevard of Broken Dreams, you'll have to make antagonistic and selfish choices. This path, much darker than the others, casts you in the role of the classically cynical and world-weary detective who burns his bridges and is on no one's side but his own. World bar to broken dreams lead to four possible endings. The hollow date ending? No idea. But yeah. Da -da -da -da. Yay! Got it done. I'm growing dim. The candles, they don't help. The only thing that passes oh. through my brain <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> I've never felt Oh, 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 oh The street outside is deadly dark If you listen Thank you, thank you Thank you. A million radiant thoughts and people disappear. Is that the next one? Yep. Overseer. Yeah, we'll serve that next week, now next Monday. That dark is we'll probably stream. Well, he will Saturday. I, I'll be in and out. They have my niece, one well, of my nieces. Sunday we're not going to because we're going to be out for our Valentine's Day because I have to work the weekend after Valentine's Day. Oh, chill out, you two. Then Monday we will. We'll probably stream because we'll be, we both will have been off that day and hanging out at home, so. Right in. Yeah, to get Overseer to work on Windows 10, I think I had to do the same thing I did for your game. Uh, 
but DJ Voodoo 2 and some other stuff. Oh my god. I'm a mystery in Rosemont Valley. Yeah. We'll eventually play that too. your life I won't give up the fight because my sanity ain't worth trading it ain't worth praying oh when day is night I always seem to lose I seem to choose that makes it right. Let's see. So I'll close my eyes and sleep Good with boy. all my might. So I'll close my eyes and sleep with all my might. And maybe when I wake, it'll be all right. And that's it. Yeah. All right. Probably stop then. You want to start the next one, do you? I mean, I could start it. I think I played for six minutes. Should work. This is where things got fancy. Oh. This is actually a Windows game, so. Player name. Again. No, we're doing entertainment.
Tex? Are you okay? Sit up for a minute in the camera. I know you're a strong woman, Chelsea, but even you've got your limits. Quit stalling. Hey, I want to see the real you. Uh, I look like one of those hideous mutants from beneath the planet of the apes. <sighs> hey, well, that's going to be nothing compared to what you're going to look like after I'm done with you if you show up late tonight. Okay, okay. Hope you got your smelling salts handy. Ooh, scary. You know, my brother had a mask just like that that he wore to all the <laughs> Halloween parties. He always went up. Got no video. Oh, that's not good. Well then. Why is that? Un momento. Bet you it changed the... Could you guys still hear? They can hear. Okay, so why? So it works on my screen, but it doesn't work on your guys' screen. But that could be... After a hot bath, an apricot facial, and a little makeup. Close it out. See if I can fix this. I probably need to change the options a little bit. Let me double check this. Or try a few things to see if I can get this to work. Probably because it's full screen. Alright. Try this again. Thank you for warning me, though.
video. Oh. Oh, I'm working on it. Okay. This may take a little bit of screwing around with. So I think what I'll probably do is we'll probably end the stream. <clears throat> and I'll mess around with this and see if I can get it to work. It's mostly just because it's, it's playing full screen and it's a, probably a... Let me try something real quick.
stop showing this to me. Oh, that's not working. Well, that's something different. That is, that hurts my eyes. Like, yeah. I changed anything. Oh. Aha. Aha. Okay, there we go. Success. Sure. Why not? I had to set it to 640 by 480, so it's going to look like ass, but at least you guys can see it. Well, look more like ass. It's going to run fast, though. Yay! Cool. Alright, we'll start this up and get to the point where I talk her through and everything and It, get, it gets really weird when it comes to streaming some of the stuff because, yeah, reasons. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I love older games. <laughs> That is one thing I will fully admit when it comes to like gaming and streaming and everything else. The Nancy Drew games never had an issue. Yeah. No. Although, once people start upgrading to Windows 11, I guarantee you there's going to be issues. And so, this game takes place in. Two different times. The present and went for text, and then the past for his first case. Tex? Are you okay? Sit up for a minute in the camera. 
I know you're a strong woman, Chelsea, but even you've got your limits. Quit stalling. I want to see the real you. Uh, I look like one of those hideous mutants from beneath the planet of the apes. <sighs> hey, well, that's going to be nothing compared to what you're going to look like after I'm done with you if you show up <laughs> tonight. Okay, okay. Hope you got your smelling salts handy. <laughs> Ooh, scary. You know, my brother had a mask just like that that he wore to all the house yeah. parties. He always won a prize. Jack that up for the moment. <sighs> Yeah, well, I've seen your brother, and that's no mask. Hey, don't you pick on my brother. At least he's not chronically late. You probably forgot, but our date starts in exactly no 12 minutes. Lucky for you, there is a one-hour grace period. I'm sorry, Chelsea, but I've been working like a dog. Oh, has it been a hard day's night? Yeah, but I feel fine, and I want to be your man, so please, please love me, do. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. Now get going before I change my mind about the surprise I have in store for us. <laughs> All right. Well, I sure hope it's bowling, because I just got my ball waxed. No, yep. we're not going to the Ten Pin Palace, and we're not having chili dogs either. Now, don't go back to sleep. Make yourself beautiful as quick as you can and zip on over here. I'll be waiting. Well, at least you're here. Come on in, let me take your hat and coat. You know, in this light, you kind of look like a princess. Well, thank you. So which one of the dwarves do I have with me tonight? Happy, grumpy, or dopey? <laughs> <sighs> Sleepy, actually. But hey, I'll tell you what. I put on a fresh shirt. I'm wearing the tie you asked me to wear. Get a couple of drinks for me. I'm going to perk right up, okay? Well, you look like you've been working hard. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. It's just that I can't seem to get a decent night's sleep. Are you still having those nightmares? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, I think if you kept a little bit more normal hours and you ate a decent meal every now and again, you might look and feel a lot better. And that's why we have an eight o'clock reservation at the Golden Pagoda. Well, <clears throat> since you got to pick the restaurant, maybe I could be in charge of the uh, early evening entertainment. Uh, because if we- Tex, honey, listen. I, I don't want you to think that I'm not interested. I am. If it's just that I think that we have some things that we really need to discuss first. I just think it would be nice if our relationship could go further. What, like, uh, all the way to second base? Oh. No. All I'm talking about is the ability to commit to something that has the potential to, to make us both very happy. It's about Sylvia, isn't it? No. And it's not about marriage. It's, it's about that one thing that, that prevents us from being close. Sylvia have to do with you and me you tell me okay if you really want to know I'll tell you but keep in mind that six years ago I was pretty much an idiot the colonel had just fired me from his detective agency because I thought everything had to be done by the book literally well being the naive optimist that I was I decided to go into business for myself and become a big success as it turned out, I was about to learn some even harder lessons.
There I was in my shiny new office with all the trimmings up to my ears in debt. Weeks had gone by and I was still waiting around for my first client to show up. I figured I'd have more work than I could handle in a big city like New San Francisco. And I was just starting to feel like a tiny bug on the windshield. Yeah, Chelsea, you wouldn't believe it, but I had a really nice office. Let me tell you about it. That's gonna take some getting used to. Ah, nothing refreshes like cool, clear water. Oh, even better, I can walk around with the arrow buttons. Ah! Oh, so fancy. Page up, page down. Okay, so I had to turn gamer mode off. That's sidestepping. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. All right. This is off. So okay. There we go. Definitely gonna take a little bit getting used to. This is inventory. That's that, and then that's okay. Got it. Alrighty. Yes, I want to exit. So at least we got that sorted. That should work from now on. Other than that, I will call the stream here for the night at least. So we will catch you all. Saturday, and we'll yeah. be doing this again next Monday. Yeah, we do the we do the Tex Murphy and Nancy Drew and everything else. The adventure games usually on Mondays. We try to. And then you'll be doing whatever you do on Saturdays. And Sundays. Saturday. Well, Sunday we won't be. No, we'll be busy. Yep. But yeah. So regardless, we all hope you have a good night. Have a good night, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.